me crazy if I'd let you But all my efforts to forget you Remind me I'm in love again Just talking musicals, musicals with you Hello, I'm Leslie Ann Knight and welcome to the second of our Just Talking Musicals singing special episodes where we shine the spotlight on the background story to a rather special song from way back when. One of the most frustrating things for composers and writers who left Broadway for Hollywood in the 1930s was the fact that in order to work in Hollywood they often had to sacrifice a lot of their creative judgement and just churn out music to order for the great movie making machine that Hollywood had become. Dorothy Fields and Jerome Kern's first collaboration came in 1935 when Kern was working on the film Roberta at RKO with producer Pandro S. Berman and they had a piece of music which needed what they described as some help. Kern had written 16 bars of music which had to accompany a fashion parade and his inspiration had simply run aground. When he was asked why he had not written more he apparently replied that that was all he had to say. The help came from lyricist Dorothy Fields who proceeded to add some of her magical lyrics and turned 16 bars of music into You're Lovely to Look At, one of the most memorable songs to grace the pages of the Great American Songbook. And it was first recorded by Irene Dunn, Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. Hollywood offered a good living when the world was going through tough economic times, but some beautiful songs were inevitably lost in the rush. And today's song is a perfect example. Remind Me was first written by Dorothy Fields and Jerome Kern for an abandoned Hollywood film project only to eventually turn up as background music in a nightclub scene in the 1940 comedy film One Night in the Tropics starring Abbott and Costello and Alan Jones. Far from the best arena for one of the most sublime love songs ever written by one of Hollywood's most talented partnerships but without their Hollywood experience it makes you think that it might never have been written at all. I first heard it sung by Elaine Del Mar at the Don Mar Warehouse in London in Jerome Kern Goes to Hollywood and it has remained one of my all-time favourite songs ever since. Turn off that charm I'm through with love for a while I'm through and yet You
simply tie my hands behind me. Don't let me kiss you, please remind me. Unless, my darling, you forget. Right, that's it for today. Before we go, a huge thank you to Stuart and Anne for kindly inviting us to film in their beautiful music studio, and huge thanks and appreciation to my fabulous accompanist, Alex Sternberg. Coming up, we've got a brand new feature for you called the Just Talking Musicals Meetups, where I get to chat to some of today's outstanding theatre professionals from the West End and Broadway, including Corrie English, Stephen Meir, Gary Wilmot, Rosalie Craig and Gareth Valentine. So don't forget to press the subscribe button so you get an alert as soon as we post them. I'm Leslie Ann Knight. Editing away behind the scenes is the fabulous Katie Ridout. You can find Just Talking Musicals on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And I shall look forward to seeing you in the first of our meetups coming up straight after this. Bye for now. Just Talking Musicals, Musicals with you. That was lovely. Thank you very much. That's bad. That wasn't even satisfactory. No, lovely. Lovely. You're right. It wasn't even yeah, usable. No, it's just like <laughs> it was more than usable. Uh, by the damning by Saint Prince. Every other song. Used, yeah, that's usable. Perfectly usable. We had that early on, didn't we? Yes. Yeah. Perfectly usable. Perfectly. Followed by satisfactory. Yeah. Reasonably good. Is that good? Quite nice. <laughs> Quite nice.